Hi, this is Patrick and welcome to some more Tesla news and reviews. Now this is the CCS1 adapter. Uh, this is the very first one, it's from China. And uh, I'm, I tried on a few different things, uh, so let's take a look. All right, so I'm at the EVgo fast charging station in Grisella. This is just outside of Denver by the Lazy Dog. And they've got a nice little setup here. It's only 50 kilowatt, but it's a CCS two charger combo. And it's initiating the charge session. Now this is using the um, Cetic, uh, I think that's how it's about said. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's allowing me to charge over CCS on my Tesla Model X. So this is a first for me, um, which is great because Electrify America is using it. Oh, and it failed. Oh, ouch. And it was so green too. Well, it was worth a shot. Apparently there's a USB adapter. So we'll try that and we'll try it again. We'll do a firmware update. I was told there's a firmware update to run. No dice. So this is the Chadmo, or at least that's how I pronounce it, <laughs> adapter from the Tesla on Electrify America. They usually have one Chadmo. And like, in this case, six, seven CCS. So I'm getting 43 kilowatts. It's gonna take 250 minutes to get to 80%. Not exactly the speediest. The adapters claim to do up to 50 kilowatts. The charge station, 50 kilowatts. So 43, it's probably the max. We'll see what we can do with this, the CTEC CCS adapter. So firmware update, you have to have a USB cable. The firmware from the website, you have to download the older firmware, this is the Windows driver for the COM port adapter to do the update. And then the latest version, which I am trying is, is version 143, the CTEC power. Hopefully this will work. Finally, after the firmware update, we are charging on a CCS Tesla. Raven. So the CTAC power adapter and the latest firmware. Man, I didn't think it was ever going to work. <laughs> so the rating on this is 100 to 800 volts DC. CCS 1, 2, Tesla Model X, S, Y, and 3. I was going to do a text message. I paid my credit card because I'd already charged with the, char the Chad mode after, and then it wouldn't let me charge again because I guess they thought I was getting double charged or something stupid. I guess it was around 72 miles when I started. It's charging at 67 kilowatts versus the 43. So it's, it's not quite double, but it's definitely an upgrade from using the Chadmo adapter and access to way more charging stations with Electrify America. Still only about half the speed of the lowest and superchargers about the same speed as a Tesla Urban Charger. We'll see if it gets any faster, but from what I heard, this is kind of kind of the max it really does. It's supposed to be able to do, do 100 kilowatt, but this is a 150 kilowatt station. It doesn't look like it's going any higher than the 67. And with the state of charge I'm at, I don't think it's gonna go up or down much until I get to the around 150 mile range, it'll probably start going down. That's cool, you can stop anybody's charge.
Well, it's slightly less big than the Chad Mo adapter. <laughs> Success number two, charge point. It's a 50 kilowatt. This is on my sister's Model X. And it's just about full. We're topping it off here. So it's it was charging 48 kilowatts, now it's down to 12. But not bad for a free charging station. <laughs> All right, so that's the adapter. It works, and they're they're actually have it on sale right now for under 500 bucks, and they'll work with you on getting it to work on any type of charging system, apparently. In my tests, it did not work with the EVgo network, but apparently, um, if you call them up and talk to them about it, they'll try and get it worked out. EVgo does not support third-party adapters, so I don't know how that's going to go. But next time I get an opportunity um, to be near one again, I'm definitely going to try it out. I'm going to contact them and see if we can get it working. Uh, let me know your success rate. If you get one of these adapters, it's, th it's about double the speed of the Chadmo. So I think it's worth the money. It's about the same price as a Chadmo adapter right now. I don't see any downside unless Tesla starts blocking it, but because the firmware updates, I think it can emulate the Chadmo. So worst case scenario, I think it might get throttled on the speed to the Chadmo rate. But even if it did, you'd have access to more stations because CCS is like the new standard, it's everywhere. Um, hopefully Tesla will come out with their new adapter soon, but if you can't wait and you have access to, like the Electrify America network, I'd say it's, uh, and you travel a lot, it's a must buy. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment below, watch it over and over again, because apparently all that YouTube cares about is watch time and not views anymore. <laughs> and speaking of which, my Two Smart Guys channel, I'm getting back into the mix of things. My son's helping me out. And we're gonna be doing all kinds of fun projects to get the most out of your personal electronics. So making them do things they may have not been originally intended to do, but are very good at doing, like putting emulators on video game systems and uh, just kind of crazy technology projects. Uh, he's got a VR system that uses switch controllers for tracking the motion of your feet. So please, uh, like I, again, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.